In this tutorial we're going to have a look at five things. Editing transitions, rearranging our clips, removing items we don't want, adding sound effects and adding a title. So let's get going. To begin with we're going to have a look at transitions. These are the things where we move from one clip to another or from a picture to a clip and sometimes they're exactly how you want them, other times not so much. So we can double tap on the transition to go in and change its settings. Do we want a none, cross all or a particular theme? How long do we want the transition to last for? So we've got some choices there. As well, if we tap on these arrows down the bottom, it will open up the transitions for us. And then what we can do is actually move these back or forth at both ends to help us decide how is it we want our transition to be so it's lined up exactly. Once you're finished, tap on those two little arrows again and it comes back together. So that's editing transitions. Another thing we can do is rearrange clips once we put them in. So we might have put in a whole heap of clips and then decide, wow, they're in the wrong order, I need to change that. To do this, you need to tap to select the clip, tap and hold until it comes off out of the page and then you can move it along and drop it in wherever it is you think it should go. I'm just going to pop it back where it was, but you get the idea of how you can move things around. Same for the pictures as well. So tap and hold, wait for it to pop off the timeline, and then you can move it around. Now, you can also remove things in this way as well. So let's go back to the end of our video. And remember, I put in an extra picture there. I don't actually really need this. So selecting it, tap and hold, pops off the page. And what you do is you drag it out far enough until, see the little puff of smoke there? That tells us that we can now delete it when we let go. Disappears. So that's how you can delete things off of your timeline. All right, let's go back to the beginning. One of the other things you can add in are some sound effects. So remember up here we had our videos, pictures and sounds. One of the options that we had in the list were sound effects. And there's a whole heap of sound effects packaged with this for you to go into. So let's just say, mm, let's have a crowd cheering. And it drops in, crowd cheering for us. I can grab that, move it along. I think we might just have a little bit of cheering the beginning of our recording. Now let's go through and have a listen and see how it works. Okay, so a little bit long and a little bit loud. So remember it was too loud. Double tap. Drop down the sound. Let's give it another go. Beautiful. Okay, so that's how you can add sound effects. And then the final thing I want to show you is how you can add titles to any of your clips. To do this, what you need to do is double tap the clip. And as well as the sound settings for the clip, you'll also find the title style and there's a location spot as well. So if I go into title style, at the moment it's got none, but I could have a title at the opening of the clip, one that comes up in the middle of the clip, or one comes up at the ending. So if I choose opening, up here at the beginning of the clip gives me some space to type something in so we'll put in Harry McClary Scatter Cat there we go and what we have is the title and it also gives you your location and you can actually go in and change your location and choose exactly where you are now or you can go and nominate a location so I might just put in Perth Perth, Australia. There we go. So five things, editing transitions, rearranging clips, removing things from the timeline, adding sound effects and adding titles.